Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we're playing Elevated Dread. So, for an indie game, I will say I'm impressed with the options they have here. Um, sound, mouse sensitivity, resolution. I'm assuming that's texture quality. I couldn't really tell the difference. Full screen or window mode. It's impressive. But, this is Elevated Dread. Essentially, we're a kid delivering flyers. And this is the last loop or building on our stop. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. Wow, it's been a long and rough day. But finally, this is the last house. I just need to put up remaining flyers on every apartment's door. And that's it. I will get my first salary. The boy. Mm. Is there running? Doesn't seem like it. And there is a pause menu. I can appreciate that. There's at least, beware when coming in, he is following you. This is fucking creepy. Oh, that's love. Can I take, like, success? I don't think health will help dyslexia. <laughs> Looks like the door is locked. You're gonna enter any three-digit apartment number. I'll let you in. One, two, three. The intercom is already calling some apartment. Dude, that is sketchy as fuck. I'm sorry. If this was my kid... Kind of feel. Ooh, that's cool. Come join us for a fun and spectacular Halloween party. October 31st. <laughs> One, two, three. Anywhere street. Holy shit. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah. As I was saying, if my kid. If I ever have a kid. And they cannot read warning signs like this. What the fuck? Wait, what the... I don't understand. I do appreciate the proximity lights. Oh, I wonder what happened if I would have hit 666. Oh, missed opportunity. Dude, this is a rusty ass elevator. Okay, one floor one, so. I guess systematic? Oh my god, my heart jumped out of my goddamn chest. Oh, you have to fucking hide? Great. Now I have to be hiding from E.T. all grown up. Because that's what I love to hear. Oh, hopscotch. Actually, fun fact. I don't think I've ever played hopscotch before. I'm trying to remember how you would even play it. And I don't 
remember. Okay, no ET motherfucker. I kind of want to end over there. Okay. Monster scary. Gotcha. Fuck. That picture actually got me. Okay, what's hiding like? Oh, okay, so there's no leaning. That's interesting. That was the auto light sign. What is... I'm not gonna lie, I have no clue what's going on here. Oh, did I forget this on floor two? The elevator didn't close last time. Okay, I'm turning up my volume on my headset. Okay, that's... Stay. Okay, I'm going back to fluid two. I think I missed one door. Okay. What the fuck was that? Of course. Always with the power outages. Hope the kid's not afraid of the dog. Wait, if it's a power outage, they have to have emergency lighting. Lighting, right? Yeah, okay, so just a break of that blue. Okay. I guess that happened locationally. Especially when wiring gets older, I'm guessing. I genuinely don't know. Do 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 do. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This building has a t Okay. This building has a ton of signs that it's abandoned. Why is this being put on like this? Why is this put being put on the kids' flyer route? Unless this is supposed to be a trap. But I don't don't get that then. Oh, fun fact about the upside down cross though. It is, to my knowledge, actually originally a holy symbol. That looks like someone's in the corner. God damn it. No, it's time to leave. 
Oh fucking Christ. Go to hell. Jesus. Okay. I will give credit where credit is due. Fuck you. That was actually pretty good. I should have just walked away. Oh, that's pretty. Eh. Not so much. So that kind of looks like... Eh, turn it off. Eh, yeah, save power that way, you know? Oh, I love the flower decorations here. They're actually really pretty. Need to fix your electrical, though. Clean up your walls. Clean it up. Clean up the, what do you call this, uh, rubbish, garbage, I don't know. Ah, uh, that needs to be put back on the wall. Do do do. Floor seven, okay. What, other than floor five? Not that bad. Ah, uh, fine. Have your Kleenex commercial. Okay, I'm also not gonna lie. That eyeball would be such a cool plush. Hmm. I don't know how pra practical it is to hang your furniture from the wall. Not gonna lie. How are we this dumb as a kid? Also, why? Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to think. Would an adult just allow a kid to deliver flyers alone? Is that typically how that goes? Because I genuinely don't know. Ah, pipes and a smile face. That's cute. Oh, It's a boy and a... Well, I'm assuming a boy. That still could be a girl. But that looks like a boy and a... Like a stuffed animal. That's cute. Oh, no. Dude, just because you make a mess at dinner, it does not mean... It's a nice fucking hell. Look at this art. Huh. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see what they did. Oh, okay. I was gonna be like, I don't really want to invade the house. I'm just gonna like, you know, move on. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Man, where the fuck am I? I appreciate the surreal stuff. It makes you really second guess what's going on. But I don't know, as a kid, I would be like, really not wanting to be here in the first place. Oh, that's cute. 
Oh, this is a very clean floor. I'll keep it on. See, personally, I don't know why... I would have just left all the flyers on a lobby or at the lobby and just called it a day, at least with this building. Alright, whatever. So wait, is that it? We just delivered flyers in a creepy building and leave? That's weird. I do kind of wish more stuff happened. I do like the creepy atmosphere though. That was, that was a nice, nice atmospheric game. Awesome. Oh, good lord. Oh, hey, it's the baby. Oh, did someone die here? Oh, that's... Now I feel like I should have been paying attention to the pictures more. Oh, god. The right hand on the wall really doesn't work when the maze is shifting. But I mean, sometimes it's not supposed to work. Sometimes it's just supposed to orient you, you know? Or at least make you feel like you're being oriented. Wait, is there more? Oh my god, there might be actually more to this game now I'm thinking about it. Okay, I think we're going in a circle now. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, that's actually a really depressing scene. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Are the flyers at- yeah, the flyers are delivered. Oh! Mm, my ears! Oh, and that was all my fault, too. Oh, God. I turned it on? Just because, of, like, huh. That's loud, volume-wise, right? But I'm not hearing anything. So I turned it up a bit, and I'm like, okay. Oh, I can hear the creepy sounds a little bit. And then that high-pitched fucking scream. Right at the end. Okay, I will say, okay, from, from what I'm understanding, there's a lot of stuff on the walls, I guess, supposed to give you a atmospheric environmental storytelling. So, from what I'm understanding... It seems like there were two kids that were once friends, maybe grew apart, and then one of them pushed the other off the building, or something happened that some one of the kids fell off the roof, and then it looks like the other one hung themselves 
out of guilt? Maybe? That's kind of what I'm getting, but I might be wrong and I'm okay with that. Assuming I'm wrong, that is. Yeah, I don't know, that... Huh. I'm a little confused on the story. Though I get the gist of it, I think. Though, gameplay-wise, even though it's more of a walking simulator-like game, it had excellent atmosphere. And I would say the jump scares felt warranted enough that they didn't feel cheap. And the game actually did kind of creep me out at a few points. Though I do think it was a little too obvious with the monster. Like when the monster's peeking out uh, from behind the door. I got a decent look at it and I wish it just went away faster. I feel like... <sighs> I don't know. It just feels like that kind of took away a lot from it. Like some of the tension. Because I knew what the creature looked like. And I will say with the, um... At the ending, with the hanging scene. I don't mind the f creature flashing in to represent... What the person turned into. After they died. But I do wish it was a little more subtle. And then the last final really good look we get of the creature is at the end. Hmm. But I will admit, maybe that's just me. I don't know. I thought it was a really good game. It was really fun. And I would play a game like this again, I think. Yeah. But I think that's it for now. So, with that being said, thank you for tuning in with Frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares. <laughs>